Hello, uh, I'm Norbert Gleicher, MD, and I'm the medical director of the Center for Human Reproduction. Uh, I am very pleased to talk to you uh, about a supplement that we here at CHR use very widely, and that is dehydroepiandrosterone, or in short, DHEA. Uh, indeed, our center uh, probably was instrumental in bringing DHEA and in general androgen supplementation uh, into fertility practice. It is now almost 15 years ago uh, since we, uh, thanks to one of our patients, stumbled uh, on the fact that uh, many infertility patients have low androgen levels. Those are the male hormones, and women have male hormones, just as we men have female hormones. And uh, learned uh, over time that supplementing those women with low androgen levels uh, can significantly uh, improve their pregnancy chances if they have low androgen levels to start with. Uh, and ever since, uh, we here at CHR have been using DHA and on occasion testosterone directly um, to treat many uh, of our patients because particularly older women and women uh, who prematurely age their ovaries usually have low androgen levels and therefore will benefit from DHA supplementation. One question that we have not addressed uh, in, in this framework here is what are the side effects of doing all of this? And this is a question which we uh, receive uh, quite frequently. Uh, we probably haven't addressed it in the past because there are very few side effects. And there's a good reason why DHA does have few side effects because it is a natural hormone that we are all, both women and men, producing routinely. And so we are not introducing uh, a new chemical into the body, as with some other fertility drugs like, for example, clomiphen. DHA is a natural hormone, and therefore one wouldn't expect many side effects. And indeed, uh, there are not many side effects uh, that uh, we have experienced treating thousands and thousands of women uh, over those 15 years. In principle, the side effect that we hear most about is actually a positive one. Uh, the side effects a uh, patient tell us about most frequently uh, is that they feel more vigorous, um, that uh, they have better sex drive uh, and uh, not infrequently uh, we have uh, quite a difficult time for that reason uh, to convince patients once they conceive to stop taking DHA. Uh, so that is obviously a positive side effect. Amongst negative side effects uh, there are really only three that, that we have noticed. Women who have a tendency towards oily skin may get more oily skin. Women who have a tendency towards acne may break out. Uh, that is entirely possible and we then recommend that you just uh, increase the intensity of, of your skin care. And finally, very, very rarely, some patients complain about hair loss. All of these side effects are immediately reversible, either by reducing the dosage of DHA or uh, by stopping treatment. Uh, it is, however, important that uh, DHA, and we have made this point repeatedly, even though in the US it is available over the counter, uh, we feel here at CHR that DHA should be uh, taken only uh, under physician supervision. In other words, uh, we strongly recommend that uh, you as a patient do not self-prescribe 
or purchase DHA on your own, and certainly not uh, that you uh, initiate uh, taking DHA without your physician knowing. Uh, the reason is not, as, as will be apparent from what I said before, that DHA is dangerous. It is indeed a hormone that in itself has very little function. And the reason is that as an androgen hormone, as a male hormone, it has what's called very low affinity to the androgen receptor, and therefore it doesn't do very much. But DHA is obviously important as a hormone because our bodies make testosterone from DHA, and testosterone is a very active hormone and a very important hormone. And it can also interact with medications, with other hormones, and therefore, again, even though DHEA is an over-the-counter product, you can buy it without the prescription. Please use it only under physician supervision. Thank you.